key area two, which is hormonal control of reproduction, and this section is all about puberty. Okay, so if we have a look at the National Five stuff that you should know about this link to this, it's hormone stuff. So hormones are chemical messengers that travel in the blood. They are made of protein. They're produced by endocrine glands as part of the endocrine system. Uh, examples of hormones are things like insulin, testosterone, and estrogen. And the tissues that act on hormone, the, sorry, the tissues that hormones act on have got specific receptors that fit the shape for that hormone to allow whatever thing the hormone does to be signaled. So let's get started. Okay, so in terms of hormones, hormones being chemical messengers, that's what you learned in that five. You need to know that fact still and that they travel in the blood. This is the big thing about hormones. Chemical messengers travel in the blood. That is their main thing. Um, they are generally made in one area of the body and then work somewhere else. So very, there are a few that are made and made and work in the same place, but most of them tend to be produced in one area and then work in totally other areas, generally from the brain to somewhere else in the body are the main kind of ones. And these hormones are the things that are responsible for controlling most of the things that occur in your body. Like if something's happening in your body, a hormone has probably controlled this in some way, shape or form. Okay, now puberty, um, what we're going to be focusing on is then sex hormones, this is the idea of hormonal control of reproduction. The hormones that control fertility are not active during childhood, okay, so childhood is a distinct stage of life during which reproductive function should not be twitched on. These hormones become active when a person's around 13 years old, but as you should know, this is different for everybody. The activation of the hormones is known as puberty and it causes all sorts of changes in a person's body that essentially the main aim out of the end of it is that they are then available or no able to sexually reproduce now there is one particular hormone that you have to know the name of and the name of it is the releaser hormone okay and um, so that's how we describe it this releaser hormone causes the sex hormones to be activated and that link at the bottom there uh, you can click on if you're using the sway uh, and you should be able to see just a little introduction to to puberty okay no. yeah so i'll cover the males uh, so looking at puberty in males the releaser hormone is released from the pituitary gland and the uh, or, and the hypothalamus it activates two other hormones in the males first hormone is called fsh and what that does is it starts sperm production in the seminiferous tubules and the second one is icsh and that causes interstitial cells to start making testosterone now in the next video we are going to cover male reproductive hormones in far more detail but the idea that you need to get here is it's the releaser hormone that triggers the pituitary gland okay so before the releaser hormones being released these two hormones are not being produced inside the pituitary gland the releaser hormone switches on due to some sort of signal in the person's body that says i am ready for puberty and then what that does does is it triggers sperm production and it triggers testosterone production now uh, the increase of fsh icsh and testosterone also cause physical changes of puberty and these are known as secondary sexual characteristics so we're talking about not actual sperm making but other characteristics that indicate sex so we're looking for things like increased muscle pubic hair facial hair uh, the voice dropping and chest broadening all of those characteristics are secondary sexual characteristics in males in terms of puberty in females, it's slightly confusing because there are similar hormones involved here in male and female. And again, this is something we're going to look much more at in the next video, is specifically what these hormones do and when they do it. Um, but in general, so you still have the same idea. There's the releaser hormone, and that's what triggers the puberty hormones. In females, there is FSH, so similarly to there was in males, and this allows the ovaries to start producing follicles, which we'll touch on more, uh, and then LH, which causes ovulation. And again, touch much more on that in the next video. But both of these hormones are basically the thing that triggers the menstrual cycle. So the thing that we all know about that results in a period, that is to do with these hormones. And it comes from the releaser hormones stimulating um, FSH and LH to do their jobs. In terms of puberty in females, there's obviously other secondary sexual characteristics as well. Um, the main ones being breast development, pubic hair, widening of the hips, and again, increased muscle. So some similar ones to males as well. Okay, now the side effects of puberty, you should have an awareness of these because everybody's gone through it slash is going through it. The body's not controlling the levels of these new hormones that are produced. 
and also the body is not good at responding to the new levels of hormones. As a result, side effects can include things like voice squeaking, anger and rage, basically mood swings can be accompanied by it, and spots as well due to overproduction of testosterone. So all of these are sort of side effects as the body starts to get used to these new hormones and it takes sort of between five and sort of 10 to 15 years for the body to get used to them before everything sort of settles down and these symptoms can disappear. Yeah, so to summarise, this video has been on puberty. It's been nice and short. There's not that much in it. Um, the main things you need to know is you need to know about the idea of the releaser hormone, which is that hormone that triggers either FSH or LH or ICSH, depending on if you're a male or females, um, and it triggers this production in the pituitary gland. You'll never get asked to name puberty, but you might get asked what is the hormone that triggers puberty. Um, and so as a result, that, that is the starting stages of being able to sexually reproduce. So the idea is you identify the releaser hormone is the one that triggers puberty. And you need to know secondary sexual characteristics and what they are and some examples of them. The idea that they are growth characteristics. They cause people to change when they develop and become uh, adults who can be able to go on to reproduce. It's not just the fact that they produce sperm or produce an egg or an ova. It is all the other things that come with it in terms of appearance as well. Yep, so that's it for puberty. Nice little short one there. The next little video is going to be on male reproductive hormones. We're looking at more depth at those ones mentioned earlier. See you then.